Hello and welcome to the vlog. I am headed to Phoenix, Arizona right now. I got to the airport and my flight is very delayed. So I got some steps in, I walked up the stairs, I looked at a bunch of menus and just realized I was not gonna pay $35 for a salad. Not today. I brought some snacks with me, I have some protein powder, so I'm probably gonna have that. And I'm back at my terminal now. I went literally to the opposite of the airport and just walked around and it was fun. I got some steps in, listened to some music. One thing I definitely recommend at the airport is noise canceling headphones because these things save lives. Other people's lives, not mine. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, so let's go. Phoenix, Arizona. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys on YouTube these little protein sticks, but they're protein meat sticks from First Form and this one is the breakfast sausage one and they are freaking delicious. What I like about these is that they are so thick. Like normally they're a lot thinner and I like them, you know, thicker and they're more filling and definitely a great way to get some protein in, healthy snack. I believe it's only two carbs. Yeah, two carbs, nine fat, and 20 protein. So really good healthy snack. Um, and then I have these Aussie Bites, which are like oats and cranberries and different things in there. So I'll probably have like one of these and one of these. So my flight got delayed two hours. And it got delayed another two hours. So it's not like four hours. Anyways, I've had plenty of time at the airport to hang and I made a reel uh, sharing my hormone update journey with you guys. Finally made it to Phoenix. Is almost midnight here, waiting on our bags, really hoping they all show up. But I was chatting with one of my friends on Instagram DM, and she's giving me the biggest hug ever. Oh my god. She's from Australia, you guys can't hear because I'm headphones in. And she was like, This is me smushing into your neck like a like a little koala. <laughs> Okay, so made it to my destination. I am here with Peter and Hannah. Fun fact, this is the first time that we're meeting in person. <laughs> so what's up guys? What up, what up, what up? I feel like I've known you forever. Though. I know, I know. So we just got in the car and he's like, hey, so this car can actually give you a massage. <laughs> Check this out. It's the Audi what? Audi AA long wheelbase. I see you. So it's the big boy. Oh yeah. So we're doing some glute hip thrusts. We just did deadlift, which you guys saw. She is warming up and starting with 225 on the bar. I did it for one set, but I don't normally do heavy weight like this on hip thrusts. I do a lot less than that, actually. So I gave it a shot. I did one, and I can do it, but I don't love my contraction at the top. So I'm going down in weight because my ego is at the door. It's not here. I'm going down in weight so I can get the contraction and the squeeze that I need and that I want. And, you know, maybe I'll have a new goal of working up to that because she is killing it with, like, nothing in her system. <laughs> Imagine if you were like well fed, well nourished. <laughs> That's some boss shit right there. <laughs> you are so cute. All right, post workout, we're all making shakes. What did you guys make? Vegan protein with mm -hmm. bananas and blueberries. That looks delicious. What did you make? I did my favorite right here, magical charms with. The ignition, of course, and I put a little creatine. Mm, I'm actually gonna do something completely different. Look at us being individuals. <laughs> I'm gonna do the iced oatmeal cookie with a banana, some almond milk ice, and a little bit of ignition, actually. So, all of the carbs for me today. <laughs> All right, we are hiking at Pine Creek Loop Trail, Ballantine Head Trail. It feels amazing out here. Look at these, okay, tell them about the cactus thing. Each limb that grows from the cactus takes 10 years to grow. Either that or 100, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's 10. So all these are over 200 years old, these cactuses. Like this one's probably 100, but what are, what are their names? <laughs> this one's Fred. Jimmy. Jimmy. I like Jimmy. Jimmy's a good cactus name. Look at all these cacti. And in Arizona, it's illegal to dig them up. So if, like, we have one on our at our house, we couldn't dig that up. It's illegal. It's so pretty out here. Shower post hike is just oh, so nice. Ready for dinner. I'm just wearing this cute little flower top. Then I have little booties on. 
and I have a super cute blazer that I got from Fashion Nova, which is for the event, but I'm bringing it just in case it's chilly out. We are headed to dinner at a place called something in Olive. Let me look. It's called Olive and Ivy and it's in Scottsdale. So hopefully it's good. I'll go check it out and let you guys know. Good morning. It is the next morning, Saturday, day one of the event. Last night's dinner was delicious. Somebody asked me on the Q&A that I did at the airport, how do I balance alcohol and fitness? I want to share the answer because there were so many responses to it that I think really help people to be more intentional about their alcohol use if they choose to do so. The answer is that I don't. Um, alcohol is literally the worst thing that you can do for your physical health, for your mental health, for your spiritual health if used in quantities that people honestly normally use it in. So for me, if I have, if I do choose to have some, I like to have like a glass of wine or maybe one of the like special drinks or like a margarita. If I want to just like enjoy a drink with dinner, I do not drink and I always check my intention. Am I doing this because I would like to enjoy a drink with dinner or am I doing this to numb a feeling I don't want to have? Am I doing it because I'm sad, because I'm frustrated, because I'm annoyed with the people that I'm around, I don't really want to be there? And if so, I do not allow myself to drink. So I'm just very, very intentional about it and also I love feeling good in the mornings the mornings are everything to me so I wouldn't want to do something that would dampen who I am even for like a day so for me it's just not worth it that's my take on it um, you know hopefully that helps you be more intentional about what you choose to do because I really hope to help you guys just live the most intentional life possible because I really want to show you guys that there is a beautiful incredible fulfilling life out there and if your life isn't that right now Sometimes you just need to identify what is holding you back from living that healthy, beautiful, fulfilled life and start making those lifestyle changes. So hopefully that inspires some thought in you guys, but we're going to go get a lift in. We're going to train with Jason and I believe Sheena is going to be there. Peter and Hannah, of course. So I'll take you guys along. We're doing upper body. Let's get it. Pre-workout. You just have all over your face. <laughs> mm, I need a life coach. <laughs> yeah. This is Cinco. And I have a dog problem still. Oh, it's the best kind of problem to have. He's so handsome. Best day ever. What is that? I come this? Yeah, yeah. I love being at friends' houses that choose the best because we get to make post-workout smoothies every single day. Let me show you. In here I have vegan protein and I actually also used a scoop of the level one cinnamon cookie batter just to make it a little thicker, more like a ice cream milkshake. And then I had to show you guys Icon Meals came in today. I had them shipped directly to Arizona. If you guys don't know, Icon Meals can ship to literally anywhere inside the US. And it makes it really easy to stay on track with tons of delicious food that has the macros right on the label. This is cryovac sealed, so the food is really fresh. Like when you warm it up, it feels like it came just straight out of the oven. I also got some breakfast. Where is the breakfast? Right here. Bacon mushroom omelet is so fire. You guys have to try it. And then I love of getting their pancakes. Usually post-workout, if I want something quick, I'll do a quick shake, just shaken up with water, and then some pancakes for carbs. So definitely check it out. I do have a link if you guys want to go through that link and what are some meals so you can stay on track? You know how to use the toilet? What? So we went to the morning sessions of the event. Smile. <laughs> we got to see Donald Trump Jr. this morning. 
and then some other people, and then we checked out the booths and some, met some people at the expo, came back, took a quick little nap, and then pressed news like four times because we were so tired, and now we're trying to gather ourselves to go to the gym. Today is shoulder day, and I'm looking at this big ass cactus that I have not seen in their house until now. Check that out. So, we're gonna rally, we're gonna get this workout in. It's gonna be a great one. And then tomorrow, we're all going to do something really exciting. Wait for me! Which I will show you guys. And you all have been waiting, so we have the update on the cacti. So, on the record, saguaros usually grow very slowly and it might take 75 years for them to grow their first arm. What? Arms are important because they store extra water. After 100 years, they usually have several arms and after 200 years, they may have many arms. They're that old? Mm-hmm. That's wild. Back at Five Star today and we're hitting some shoulders. Warming up and we're like, wow, we did not realize how freaking sore we are. Back day yesterday was success. This is Max set, guys. This is Max set. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing him the number. <laughs> I got no shame. We don't want to be here today. Yeah, honestly, none of us really want to be doing this right now, but we're going to get it in. It's going to be a good session. Mine we'll over after. That's right. That's right. so good we're gonna be so sore tomorrow which is perfect because we're gonna do something for recovery tomorrow which I'm excited to vlog for you guys but I'm going to bed and little mr. kitty is my new best friend and he came in here all by himself and started cuddling all over me you're so cute dude I love your little sweater good morning okay so yesterday we did the cold plunge hot plunge uh, sauna therapy in Fred sauna and it was incredible I ended up taking my phone and getting just like iPhone footage so I'll put some of that right here You guys have not tried that before obviously it's incredible for the physical benefits and the recovery the replenishment but also the thing that i love the most is the mental fortitude the mental strength the mental toughness that it requires to be able to do something like that and also just the training that it is right no matter how many times you do it i think every single time you go it's just like that initial shock your body goes into this like fight or flight mode so being able to put yourself in real life situations where you have to learn how to create a calmness and a peace in the middle of a storm i think is a really valuable skill to have so if you guys have never done it before definitely just search cold plunge therapy in your area and you should be able to find somewhere that you can do it or if you're a personal friend of mine I'm about to get a cold plunge and an infrared sauna at my house which I'm really excited about so yes that was awesome. Today we're going to do something really freaking cool that I've never done before. This is gonna be a first time for me and it's gonna be quite the adrenaline rush so stay tuned and let's get to it took the fam out for drinks let's see what they are that orange rain always let's go to what's your gatorade yours? it's bolt 24 gatorade uh oh she's getting wild oh. over here guys better watch out who knows what's about to go down <laughs> so peter has road rage issues and told us to all put helmets on yes it's official <laughs> let's go What? Are you serious? And a mobile. And a mobile. And a mobile. <laughs> Every one of them have the exotic killer package and have a thousand horsepower. No way. Yeah. You drive. While we're on camera, what did you drive in a, about a year and a half ago? What was your car before you started buying all these Hellcats? Well, oh, I was driving a Honda Odyssey since 2002. And she drove that for 18 years and now she has five new vehicles in the last year. Well, and That's I'm why they call you Hellcat Granny, I guess. I guess so. Nice. But, <laughs> what's that? This smells so good. Gives you an idea of what we go through daily. 
daily? Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you go through? We go through a set of tires a day on these cars. So that's why Damn. it's fucked up. The reason why we save others like this, if they have this much tread, mm -hmm. so that we can do burnout footage. Nice, okay. So we know we're gonna smoke them no matter what and do yeah. something cool. So we save those and put them on for content.